thought I'd show you how I repair this leg. So there's actually uh, still a little uh, piece of metal here sticking out of it. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, a leg from uh, from this guy here, which is a uh, it was one of the ROMs that was uh, uh, broken on the uh, on the PCB, and uh, and take one of the legs. Uh, you can see I've pulled a few already. Come on, focus here. There you go. Uh, one of the legs, and then uh, I'm just gonna stick it on there. That's what I've done here for this guy. Um, you can see the little blob of solder, um, and it's worked quite well. At least it'll, uh, it'll keep it there for now. Um, so these are the two ones I replaced from the other board. Um, I took out the, the the ones that were here, and I'm just putting the ones from the other board here. And the hope is to actually get this one to work, but we're missing quite a lot of stuff. Anyway, um, so uh, I'm not sure I can actually show you exactly the process, but I I'll try. Um, I'll put some solder here, and I'll put some solder on the leg. I'll try and film that, and then. Uh, and put them together. It's quite easy to do once you have everything prepared, but what you need to do is just thin that area, uh, thin the leg, uh, I'll use some flux as well just to clean everything, and you have a glass of gin and tonic just to uh, keep things lively. There you go, so uh, that's the uh, the leg uh, back on. It's not the cleanest uh, solid uh, uh, <laughs> job, but there wasn't a lot of room available to um, to put so I had to put a kind of slightly big blob here, but I think it's okay. I think it's quite uh, acceptable. So um, let me check. Yeah, it's solid enough to uh, to grow in a socket. So um, I'll socket that now, and then we can move on with the rest of the board. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna clean as well the the chip. Um, what I use is this. Um, I think I showed you that already, but this. Uh, uh, this uh, magic eraser pen. So, you, um, what you need to do is support the uh, the uh, the leg with something like a card. So you put the the card under the underneath the legs, um, while you uh, you rub the uh, the magic eraser very very gently, like barely touching it really, uh, because that's how you can break these legs. Uh, even your even though you're very very gentle, they can break. So. I'm gonna clean the legs here. You can see there's, uh, there's some dirt and corrosion on it, and then put it back in the socket. Okay, guys. So an update on uh, the second um, non-working Galaga board that I had. So the first one is fixed, and uh, and this one has a, a number of issues. Namely, uh, it had a missing uh, LS. Uh, 368 which I replaced here uh, this um, resistor array was uh, broken so I actually fixed it and then there was a couple of um, actually sorry uh, there wasn't any uh, no there was actually <laughs> uh, but what I did here because I took this prom, prom from um, I'm trying to lift it open there. Took this pr the the prom that was originally here and put it on the uh, the other one uh, to make it work. My original one, sorry, the one that was in the uh, cabinet to make it work, so it was missing. And I know I, I put it here just as a placeholder, but I know this guy isn't working. But what I did is uh, just I put it here. Well, it's not working as far as the output sound output um, isn't generated for the uh, the main sound, not the explosion, but the main sound. So I put it here as a placeholder because some parts of it might still work so um, if I see the same effects I know that's what it is and then uh, what else was there there was a, so there's a missing uh, a missing uh, EEPROM here and then uh, I'm gonna take that from the existing one just to see if it works I'm at this stage now I'm going to plug it in I fixed a number of things before I even plug it in and um, there was this leg here which I fixed on this uh, um, custom IC, Namco ICs, and this leg here uh, was broken as well, so I fixed those two, uh, you've seen that already, um, and I think that's all I did, uh, I just borrowed a, a ribbon connector from an existing uh, an existing uh, board, um, so I'll have to order one of these as well, so essentially I'm down to, I'm just going to use uh, the 
the EEPROM from uh, from the other board. I might borrow the uh, the um, the chip here and just to see if it works. So we'll do we'll do that. Uh, I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to get the uh, prom here and uh, we'll have a look. So here you go. I've missing prom here taken from another board. Uh, it's actually standard in a similar prom set. Um, I can see some of these were reburned anyway. And this is the original sticker as far as I know. Uh, I'm not sure this is. Uh, this is definitely not original. And then, um, you know what, I'm just going to plug it in first. Um, I'm not going to change this light for it. Um, and I'm not checking the video board. I just did a, a, a quick check, but I am. Um, I'm not. I am. Um, I did a quick check to, to make sure that there wasn't any broken ICs. <coughs> Excuse me, but I, um, I didn't do any any more checks than that, and broken traces are uh, because essentially I just want to see if this boots. So let's turn this on. This can take a while to boot. Oh, there you go. Oh, so it's working. Yeah, but we don't have any sound, so let's let's check. Oh, <laughs> this could be a very very easy fix again. Um, it was just missing parts. Some people get these boards and they use them as a donor board for their customer boards. You know when they fix stuff for people, so. Uh, yeah, um, and these are actually fine boards. The customer wants their original board, not another one. <clears throat> so let's see if this boots. Something funny with the uh, video signal, or no, it's my monitor. That's right. I have to check why that is. But there you go. So. <laughs> I can't believe this. Hold on. Is this all working? Let's see. Oh man, it is. Are we all sound? Oh, this is actually a... Is there a rapid fire there? Yeah, it looks like it is. I shouldn't be firing that quick. Yeah, there could, yeah, could well be a custom. Uh, I see, because I, when I leave the button pressed, it doesn't do anything. I think that's be what the rapid fire mod is, but this actually lets me fire more than two bullets um, at once, which is normally what happens in. I kinda like it, why not? I'll have to find out which, uh, which mod it is, though. That makes the whole experience much easier. Oh, it says I. Not quite. Still have to get my ship captured to make it easier on the bonus stage. Oh. Interesting. Anyway, but look at that. It's it's working. So. <clears throat> What I need to do, and um, I'm not going to keep playing, what I need to do now is obviously, obviously change these two guys. I could keep this as a cards board because I know it works, but if I can get it all to work, then I have three Galaga boards and be bulletproof. Um, so I need to burn a new one of these. Uh, so I need to order these. Uh, I have an EEPROM burner that should do the job. Uh, however, these EEPROMs here, I can't burn myself. Uh, so, and the reason is you need a specialized type of equipment, which is quite expensive as far as I understand. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna get one of these burnt. Luckily, luckily, I think Mike's Arcade, uh, Mike's, Mike's Arcade.com can burn these if I if I send in the, the ROM. Mind you, you would have the the ROM itself because he's a sort of a Galaga expert as well. So, uh, I'll order one of these burnt from Mike's Arcade, get a new chip and burn it, and we've got a new board. So let's do that. Uh, it's going to take a while, so... Uh, will I stop the video? No, I might as well 
all the whole way and show you the, the board fully working. Oh yeah, and I need then a ribbon cable because uh, that's from another board and obviously some uh, some uh, holders here, which I have. But uh, we, we'll, we'll get it fully fully operational on this uh, on this video. So let's do that. Hi right, guys, so today I came home uh, to find this package in the post uh, that was sent to me, and I think it's the uh, the guy on the um, on the uh, UK Vac forum um, that sent me this. So, dude, thank you very very much. If that's what it, I, I mean, that's the only chip, single chip I'm expecting. I'm expecting other chips, but uh, that's the only single one. So I assume that's uh, that's the one. Uh, I don't recognize what that is because it's actually uh, these are, aren't made. You have to find the equivalent. But we're 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 gonna test that. So this should fix our sound issue. Um, hopefully. And then, uh, and then we are done with this board. Well, <laughs> I'm jumping board here. Okay, let's, uh, let's see it this way. It's booting. It's booting. Okay, so far so good. Uh, let's let's kind of yes awesome oh this is so cool let's see if uh... I really don't care for this uh, uh, rapid fire Galaga I have to say it just makes it a bit too um, too easy. So all then you need to do is get your shit captured and uh, and that's it. Anyway, so that's Galaga fixed. It seems. Um, I had issues with the uh, one of the uh, ROM. Sometimes I get a bad ROM uh, signal, and uh, and I, uh, I I I put it back here. Uh, uh, sorry, I fixed that actually. What it was is on the other side we had one of these ROMs. Um, uh, and it, it actually, the the uh, the, the um, self test indicates that ROM. It tells you this ROM is bad. Doesn't necessarily mean your ROM is bad. It just means that you can't access that ROM properly. So, um, but I just swapped it with one of these. Um, uh, so I, uh, these are 20, 2016 BP10, and the other one was there. You go 2016 uh, BP10. The other one was 20, which is actually twice as slow, and I suspect this was swapped or it's gone bad. But I put this one in, um, or one like that, it's on the other side, and uh, it fixed my bad RAM issue as well. Uh, that was sort of in intermittent. Um, it wasn't all the, all the time, but maybe one boot out of three or four, uh, it would happen. So what have we done here so far? So we changed the RAM, we changed this uh, ROM, um, sorry, this prom and uh, that uh, he dealt somehow with the music and the sounds. Uh, sounds are generated by uh, by this um, here, this uh, Z80, and um, that's what deals with the sound. I'm assuming this prom. Actually, I don't know. Maybe the music is stored here. I'm not sure exactly. I don't know enough about Ganaga, um, like everything else. Um, this uh, what is it? 368 um, LS 368. Uh, there was none, so I had to change that. I had to add a, um, a, a ROM here. Uh, I had to resolder in place this resistor array and then um, just fix two legs on these ICs. But all these custom ICs were here, so that was good. That was one of the reasons I actually got it. I said, uh, when I saw the pictures on eBay, this one and the other one, I, 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 I made sure that all the custom ICs were on it. And after that, you know, it's pretty much, it becomes easier to fix, even though these ones I couldn't program myself. There's one here, one here, and I think there's three, four, five, maybe on the other side. But it's, you can find somebody who programmed it for you. So thank you very much, dude. Um, I, I don't have your name, I'm sorry. I'll put it maybe in the comments, although it's a forum name, but thank you so much. These, these aren't quite you know, cheap either. Um, I got one from Mike's Arcade. Uh, I ordered one in the meantime, it was $20. Um, programmed so not, not cheap plus posting so I, I I asked him 
if you know we wanted money for it and then he just basically said shipping and posting and uh, and then when I asked him how much it was he never replied so that's very generous I'll send him another email because yeah. um, but very very nice and now we have a, a fixed Gallagher board <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, that's cool. I have three Galaga boards now, and these aren't cheap, guys. Um, I got this, these two pretty cheap, but you know they're, they're not cheap boards to get. Um, so uh, that's awesome. So uh, yeah, three is what I try to have. If I have two, it's it's good. Three is great because then if one breaks, I have a backup, and then I have a backup to that because you know you just never know. Like oh, one of them might be uh, might be dodgy. It's good to have two backup if you can, but um, my recommendation is buy them broken like that and fix them because otherwise it's just too expensive. I think Mike's Arcade sells them for about 300 and something 50 uh, on its site, which is you know, it's been serviced, it's been well looked after, and it, it's been fully refurbished. But it's pricey, it's pricey. I'm not saying it doesn't uh, deserve that price, but it's it, they're pricey boards anyway. All right, so let's say uh, Galaga fixed. Thank you for watching and see you next time.